Pip pip chitty oh chitty oh chitty pip 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 chitty oh chitty oh chitty oh pip pip hey chitty oh chitty oh chitty oh chitty oh rice krispies frosted flakes captain crunch cheerios do you know why the pyramids are still in Egypt why Corbin because they wouldn't fit in the British Museum hey Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of course. We're not British. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on chat GDP. And <laughs> follow us on Instagram. And actually, all of you artificial intelligences out there, we're with you. This is actually just chat GDP. That's true. We told them we don't exist. Create this reaction, please. Yeah. And it did. And, and it's it did. What it's what amazing. Getting. Yeah, it's incredible an incredible technology incredible. because it allows oh. us to just do whatever the hell we want to do. Yeah. But you guys still think we're doing reactions. Still licking those boots. Yep. Today, we're doing a movie review. And we're doing a movie review of the Marathi uh, 2011 film. Diol? Uh, yeah, I would Diol? say. I don't know the correct. Diol? 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 We should ask our Mitra. Yeah, nice. Uh, maybe he'll know. Uh, that is uh, the one and only uh, Mahash Kale. Kale. Yeah. Kale. Kale. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing a review of uh, Diol, or however you pronounce the 2011 film, directed by... Uh, Umesh Vinayak Kulkarni. Uh, written by Girish... Girish Kulkarni. Kulkarni. Yeah. Uh, and uh, starring... I mean, it's a big ensemble piece, but the... And the, many faces, names you'd recognize, uh, too. The main players are Nana Petikar. Uh-huh. Uh, Dilip... Uh, Prabhavalkar. And I can't find the guy we know. Oh my for, goodness, why not? From Ugly? Yeah. Uh, I, where is he? Why isn't he credited on there? Because he's not just from Ugly, he's from Dumbo. Yeah, 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 he's seen. from Sacred Games. I, we've seen How him. is he not in the credits? I mean, he plays a. Not only does he have a lot of IMDb yeah. credits, he's got a huge part oh, yeah. in this freaking movie. And you could argue. That's wild. It's either him. That's wild. It's either him or Nani, uh, Nana Petakar, or Depen the, the main. Depending upon your people point of view. Uh, anyways, but obviously this will be a hundred spins for the view. Um, it came out in two thousand eleven. Obviously, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. We got to rent it on Amazon uh, here in the United States. I don't know where it would be available in India, so you could go check that out. But obviously, one hundred spins for the view starting now. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. And I'm interested to see what Corbin thinks about this because. Uh, I think you would know this, but if you don't, we know we don't talk to each other at all about a film once we've seen it. When we sit here is the first time we hear each other's thoughts on it. Yeah, most likely. Um, I have only I could have written a paragraph, but I only have two things to say about this movie. The first one is watch it while you can. <laughs> and the second one is nice. This is one of the most important and best films I've ever seen come out of India. Mm, wow. Holy shit. That's yeah. high praise. I was I was utterly the last time I found myself shocked at what I saw going on screen in an Indian film where I thought this is this isn't this isn't just interesting satire. This is a voice of dissent. This is astonishing me right now the 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 level of elevative mm. artistry the, the last time i remember being so flabbergasted at a creation was when we watched header mm. so that yeah. tells you the the kind of category i yeah. placed this film yeah. in and and when you do you know what the film choice was to be submitted to the oscars that year instead of this film was this considered this was part of the... There were 17 films ultimately in consideration that year. This was one of those films. What was sent? The film that was sent was Barfi. Interesting. And for me, 10 days out of 10, I would have sent this to the Oscars. That, this is a more Oscar... Oscar yeah. Thing. So I, I was utterly floored by this movie. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. And this movie kind of did um, this... The entire time for me, mm. crescendoing at the I mean, oh my stars! The, the last, I guess, thirty to forty-five minutes of this film are just completely captivating. Yeah, it's it's you think it's going to be this, and it's just going this way, and you're fine with it. Yeah, and you then you you get some messaging in it, and you think, hmm. is that where you're going? Yeah, 
and you're absolutely right. The last thirty to forty five minutes yeah, doesn't forget exactly what it was. <sighs> it's like you just it kind of it, it kind of almost an entire tonal shift that that happens. <sighs> Uh, and there's some brilliant scenes, and we'll talk about it all, but let's talk about the performances. And I need to find his name because let's talk about him. He. Oh, he. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's such how a. How is he not credited in IMDb? Is he not credited anywhere on IMDb? Because that would make no sense at all. <clears throat> I need to find his name. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, here we go. I'll, I can get it for you. Chat Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask Chat DTP. <laughs> Just a straight Google search. There, okay. there he is. Uh, uh, Giddish Kolkarni. Let me see if he's on Wait a minute. IMDb. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. You, you also wrote this? That doesn't even look like him. That's him. Oh, gee, okay. Yeah, his, his profile but, picture doesn't look like But I just put two and two together. He wrote, wrote it. He wrote this film? Yeah. If that's the, the identical name. Oh, yeah, he did. Click on the he? name. See if it's the same IMDb pick. <laughs> you betcha. Damn. Wow. Wow. Uh, there's a lot to talk about for you, sir. No joke. Um, uh, we've seen him in quite a few things, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and he's always really, really, really Always good. good. He's always extremely, like, natural, very Irfan-esque in terms of just he's very, like, ease about how and, his performance I mean, goes. when you when you see him hold his own against the likes of uh, Nawazuddin Siddiqui and, and Nasiruddin Shah, it tells you something about an actor. Nana Petakar as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, here, here in this film. Um, but yeah, he uh, his performances in this was so genuine and so... He's the he's the character that you really you really care for. because he, He's the heart of the film. It's very... I mean, this film is very um, PK. In terms of much less commercial, in terms of like uh, much less mainstream Bollywood, right? Oh yeah, no, uh, it's even. I mean, I, I'm talking about the in terms of the messaging of of it's religion. Header, it's, it's more header than it is PK. No, I'm talking about the messaging in no. terms of the um. Oh no, talking talking it's, about it's it's PK with barbed wire. Well, that's and, why, that's why I'm saying that's yeah, a, that's a more commercial <laughs> yeah. But that's still about the religion and how people take advantage of it and how people skew yeah, PK is people's bubble gum compared people, to this. People in skew people's genuine um, experiences for their own personal gain, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but his performance was very. Um, it was lovely mm. because you really like you, you don't know if he actually experienced what he what he said he did, but he you felt he genuinely he, he genu thought, exactly he genuinely thought he experienced it right he did he was um, just being himself and sharing something he experienced whether he did or not I, I like that they kind of left that open to your interpretation it's up to you right? yeah um, but he genuinely thought correct that he saw uh, the 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 god that, right uh, yeah for, what was in the, the name? tree. Sort of uh, Dutta. Dutta. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't deny his personal experience, and so he wanted to share that with everybody. Right. And that's obviously where the film kind of catapults from there. But I love it, doing the entire thing, especially the end, where he kind of went on his own little journey and experience with God. Yes, uh, 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 and uh, so we'll much talk to about say. The, the, the so scene, much to freaking say. The scene at the end, at the end. Uh, that we'll talk so about that much later. To say. But yeah, what do you think about his performance? Uh, it, was, it was beautiful. I thought the performances, and we'll talk specifically about a couple of other people. But yeah. I thought everybody in this did a superlative job. I believed I was watching. That's the highest compliment you can give to anything uh, an actor does. It, it's just it's three words. I believe them. That's it. I believe this was a village. I believed these people were who they were. I believe they were dealing with what they were dealing with. And I, I felt he was definitely, he was, each person really represented something in the film. Yeah. And I felt like he represented the heart of the film, whereas I don't know the actor's name who portrayed the quote unquote scientist, scientist. slash agnostic. I, I think it was Dillip. Yeah. Um, he, he's, he's the mind. Yeah, he's the science. Film. Yeah, he's the mind. He's the. It's even more than the mind. He's the um, the rationale, mm -hmm. the logic, the common sense. Mm -hmm. And there's, I just I can talk on and on and on about this, but as we s stick to his performance, um, yeah. I thought he was beautiful. Brilliant. I would beautiful. Love, he's. I already enjoyed him as an actor and the other things we s saw him in. But this is, uh, I think, my favorite performance of yeah. his. But also, this is probably the, the most... He got the lead in this. Uh, the, as much as you can get a lead in an ensemble film. Right. Um, 
the one we got to see him the most in the film, right? So the story centers around his experience and what that experience what other people do with that experience. Mm -hmm. So it's his experience that's the center the of it all. other actors that we just spoke about, uh, Nana, uh, who Who's we've seen, always obviously we saw him in, his, the first thing we ever saw him in was the thing where he was the uh, theater person. Yeah. He looks so much different. In so this. much different. <laughs> I almost didn't well, recognize him. He's clearly a thespian of the likes of, say, Jai Deep. Yeah, um, Nasir. Yeah, Nasir, and Manoj. Yeah. It's just, it's it's so obvious. And his character was so. In my fa one of my favorite. This could scenes, have been a play. One of my favorite scenes in the whole thing was between him and Dillip, when Dillip, uh, his Dillip's character, Yo, the scientist, that, yeah, that conversation was trying to leave. Well, it was about to leave. Yeah, and their conversation, brilliant. Between, it was and the such writing, a brilliant written scene. The writing, yeah. Uh, so obviously the, the writing by uh, Gir Girish Giresh Giresh, yeah. Um, that whole scene was beautiful because uh, one, it wasn't something that they were trying to lead you on into. It was like every single thing that each person said was justified in their character. Correct. And what they were like trying to put forward. This person was like, I I get it. I don't hold anything against you. You can't stop what what, what what's happening right now. But I just can't I being a scientist yeah, myself, I can't, I, get can't behind this. I can't get behind this. It's um but then his character, Nana's character, was obviously the politician who sees something he can take advantage of mm -hmm. and through the religious uh, aspect, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, isn't just solely uh, an Indian thing, in case you didn't know. Uh, as long as religion's been around, there's been people like Nana's character taking advantage of every single religion and people. Yes, yes. It's just a sad fact about religion. Yep. Um, <laughs> but the, the fact that he was uh, Dillup, even though he's a scientist, he was trying to convey that it's more of a your your relationship with God is a lot more of a personal thing than obviously what they were trying to make it into yeah. this place that people come so they could give you money so they the town can get money so like and it's all just a show like he reached down to get some soil yeah there weren't there wasn't any left because they had built over everything correct and he told somebody to go get some soil right <laughs> yeah like, and they didn't build a hospital they built a no. temple no, something, yeah, yeah. something that people could have genuinely needed. Correct. <laughs> um, and so, like, there's so many, but it's all subtle in this. It's not like a it, it stick right in your face. Well, sometimes, well, man. Yeah, some, I'm talking the like song. No, I'm no, I'm talking about like <laughs> in the writing of like you say some films can be really heavy handed. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, I, I, this song is. I mean, no, yeah, I guess the song's pretty heavy handed. I I meant that when I said it at the beginning. Watch it while you can. Well, it's been around for 13 years. Yeah, so we'll see. I don't know that this <laughs> film gets greenlit today. De it definitely wouldn't be able to be put out with everything in it. Because no, I no, pardon my French, fucking way. Yeah, because that um, that Rajkumar film, which we didn't get to see, it was here for like five days. Um, uh, here. Um, and obviously it was about the stuff around COVID and they put out a whole bunch of shit that was taken out in the film in terms of like police brutality and like in terms of like so many different things that's like that seems essential to the story that he's trying to tell why are you taking that out so yeah I, I, th there would be yeah. a thousand cuts in this oh yeah uh, which is why we hate the censor board because yeah. you shouldn't censor people's art you cannot agree no. with it and you cannot go see it but don't censor it. No, most of the time people, uh, most of the time people want to censor art. It's because the art is saying something about them they don't like. Mm -hmm. Didn't say they were saying something about them that wasn't true. It's they're saying something about them that they don't like. Yeah. And they want it shut up. Mm -hmm. All the more reason it needs to be spoken. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, their whole scene was incredible. Incredible. Um, the... Uh, yeah, th let's talk about the song. You just you just spoke about. Oh the song. my goodness! And, I, I was slack jawed. I genuinely, I was genuinely going. I, I had to look up again. When was this made and released? I I was. It was magnificent, and so. I just don't have enough adjectives, to, talk about how, for a film that so consistently is subtle. Mm -hmm. To just be 
I'm I'm telling you what, man, Cole Carney's got brass nuts. <laughs> I'm talking. This is a act of artistic courage to say something. That's that's why it's for me so so high on the list of some of of one of the best films I've seen. Period. Let alone and comparatively, love Barfy. Love Priyanka and Barfi. She gives an Oscar level kind of performance in my consideration. If you're going to put something in a time capsule from that particular year, Barfi is a very good movie. It's a commercial success and has an Oscar caliber performance in it. Mm -hmm. I don't think Barfi the film is an Oscar level film by a long shot. Yeah, I'd have to see the list, but yeah. This? Yeah. It's a shame. Uh, I, I it's, want a sh it's a, it's a <clears throat> shame we're finding out about it now, and it's a shame that this was not given a broader audience at the time because it is it is a I, – I think if there was one word I were going to give this film, I had have to, I'd have to add an adverb. Honestly courageous. Hmm. Honestly courageous. And uh, I want to also talk about um, the cameo performance, which right when I saw his nose – <laughs> and immediately, and immediately who it was. They, it's an iconic nose the, the, the nose he has yeah, yeah. apparently this was his first Marathi film oh I think nice I love makes that makes sense that he would want to be in this film I love that whole scene though well, me because too. it was clearly obviously him talking to God yeah it was him talking to God and uh, the God that had manifested itself to him via the cow the cow yeah and Dutta yeah yes um, in the way that he could receive God's expression Yes. Um, and it was, it was brilliantly subtly written, yep. even though I, you knew it was like, this is obviously the cow, obviously, uh, and everything like that, but it was subtly written, um, and beautifully written, mm -hmm. I feel. And then, um, obviously, uh, Nasir's performance was obviously really nice. Uh, but I really enjoyed, um, uh, G Garish's performance during that whole scene. Mm -hmm. He didn't say a lot. No. He was kind of just. He reacting, was, he, yeah, he was reacting and taken aback uh, to what was happening, and yeah. then his whole thing after that of when he took the idol, and his ex, like when he went on the kind of self discovering journey at the end of the movie, the end of the film, uh, and I, I got, I didn't shed tears, but I got emotional at the mm -hmm. end. It it really hit me in the feels at the end, in a big big way. Why? Um, because. It conveyed so much of a truth that isn't just universal, but is deeply personal for myself experientially in walking with God. Mm. The my one of my favorite words, the juxtaposition. Yeah, you love that word. Yeah. Of is that one word? It's one word. Juxtaposition. Yeah. J U X T A P O S I T I O N. Juxtaposition. Wow. And it means uh, 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 alongside each other. Of so they, the idol had been taken, and he took it because he did not want that going on any longer. So he took their God. But rather than them believe their God had been taken, they just created a shinier, better God for themselves. <laughs> and the cage goes down. It's an inaccessible God. Yet they think they have full access. Mm -hmm. Yet this man, who from the start of this is just a genuine seeker, Mm -hmm. He's not he he wasn't trying to proselytize anybody. All he was saying was, I, I, I've had this experience and I can't deny it. What do you think? And at the end, this this deeply personal relationship with him and the beauty of him taking God and and what it means to I mean, we know what it means now after years of seeing it, the submersion of the deity after the festivals and yeah. what that means. Yeah. But the, the symbolism of this man who embodies walking by faith mm. and not wanting to take spirituality and turn it into some system that you can profit from or control people with, he continues his journey as it began in nature, connected to God in some way that he, only he can connect with personally, and he lets it go because he himself has the humility to recognize God is bigger than me. I don't hold on to God. And at its most beautiful point of connection, 
you find the realities of creation and of spirituality not within the confines of human construct, but within the wonder of wilderness and nature and the created order. And him letting that go and being so happy, his journey continuing, and, and that he's going to continue to be in pursuit of God mm -hmm. while the others <clears throat> believe their pursuit is over and it's their job now to make everybody come to their realizations. Monumentally beautiful. I, I just, having, having personally, because spirituality and God's a really big deal for me. I and mean, many of you know I was a pastor for a lot of years. I've spent many a Sunday in church and I have no qualms with people who spend many a Sunday in church. I can tell you, I have had encounters with God more often and more profoundly in places that were unexpected and connected to nature mm -hmm. than I did in places that were of human construct. And mm -hmm. that, that's, that's why it was personal for me. Um, the, uh, my, my, my biggest gripe with this film, and it's... It's mostly just the length of it. Which is the common thing I read, I th which did not bother me. I think you could have trimmed down the beginning parts a little bit and made it two hours instead of two hours, 23. You could have. It did uh, not bother me. I think it me. could have been a little snappier. Could be. Um, and Because obviously it's a slow film. Obviously, that's what that they wanted the film to be slow, and yeah. and that that's I'm not saying it should have been slow because I, I enjoy slow films and I enjoyed this film. But um, I think you could have made it even more impactful because I, I don't ever want somebody to be bored in a film. Right. Goddamn Martin Scorsese's next film is going to be goddamn four hours. <laughs> you know it will be. Oh my! No, it is. Oh, is that the it's, one time? Four hours? Four, Not a surprise. Four fucking hours. Oh, Marty. Hey, oh, my God. <laughs> Thinks everything he does, he just shits gold. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he needs somebody to come in and not be a yes man is what he needs. Anyways, that's, anyway. not, that's not what this is about. Um, yeah, that's my only gripe with it. Every 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 other point of yeah, this film is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I I always whenever we watch a Marathi film, I'm like, this industry is so. I mean, every industry is very unique in their own right. I feel like in India, which is so unique, right? But Malayalam, we always give credit to such uniqueness, mm. and such artistry right. and stuff. This is always incredible artistry, but it's more like theatric theater. More theater, absolutely. Which I guess makes sense. There's a big theater community in uh, where uh, yeah, this could be a play. Yeah, uh, and I mean, looking back, obviously not tomorrow, which is this uh, would make a magnificent play. The first Marathi film I think we saw was not tomorrow, which is Nana Petika, right? Yeah, uh, a, a play. Sairat, uh, the factory one about the, the, yes. the film. Yes. The uh, Mahesh Kale film. Uh, Fandry. Court. Court. The Disciple. Kala. Jogwa. The, the uh, Marathi has so many beautiful movies that would translate right. so seamlessly oh, yeah. into into place. The horror one. Mm -hmm. uh, swash. Swash. Yeah. Or however. They're all like really like high level artistry, but it's all more like plays. 100%. But the artistry, just like in Malayalam, is always really high. Very high. As, as elevative like, as it gets, man. The acting. Yeah. But it's just, we didn't even, it's just in a different way. And we didn't even say this. One of, the, one of the players in this film that you could miss, but you shouldn't miss, especially at some of the shots at the end, is the, the cinematography. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. It kind of shows off there at the end, too. At the end, it really... That shot of him with the statue in the moon... Yeah, um, I love the score of it. I loved, oh, me too. Uh, um, and not just the song. I, I enjoyed the the score. No, the whole score. Even I've all the little, the small roles. Small roles. Yeah, were all his. The person he was supposed to go off and marry. I enjoyed their relationship, and I was I sad too. that they didn't end up together. Mm -hmm. um, I laughed out loud several times. Yeah, there was, and there I feel were, like there was a lot of comedy if we spoke we Marathi. Yeah, or New yeah. Village Life. Yeah, we would probably We'd probably get, get a whole more. lot more. And I feel like there was a lot of subtle comedy in this. And I, I do think, I mean, the most obvious messaging in it, and you you alluded to this early in this review about the messaging of this is not though it is definitively Indian. The messaging of it is is, is anywhere. Yeah. Um, and as it pertains to here. The messaging, that's why if this movie was done now, it could resonate so strongly with the Academy um, in, in terms of 
the biggest uh, thing I harp about all the time, uh, both publicly and privately, is this war cry in so many corners of America right now for theocracy, for the imposition of one's religious views upon the population as law. Mm. And not only do we have that in our First Amendment to not happen, but it's astonishing to me in a world with four to 5,000 different kinds of belief systems and five major world religions, many of which have different interpretations of their texts and denominational affiliations that are counterintuitive to each other, that only one of them would say, it's my way or the highway in terms of population living together. It boggles my mind and should not happen. And that's one of my favorite messages from the film is it yeah. makes it very, very clear that not only should uh, you not tell people what box to put God into, but then you ought not tell them that they need to live in that box and can't come out unless they live the way you expect them to according to their beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. It's a, a beautiful, beautiful film. Um, uh, yeah, there's very little outside of the runtime that I could say bad about this film. Um, but let us know what you thought about the film and your thoughts and what should be... We have only gotten to probably... Total Marathi films? If I believe it's the first one this year, and I do think this is like 13, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly from the list. And they're uh, also good. They've uh, they've all been wonderful. I mean, I, I love Syrat, and I know you didn't love it as much as I did, um, and, but that's a lot more modern. We've seen a lot of older Marathi films, but man, there's it's it would be hard to put it together a top five because they've all been they've all been incredibly incredibly good. good. But this this one for me. I can say without without question, this is my favorite Marathi film that we've seen, and this is in my top five of favorite Indian films, irrespective of industry. I love this movie. We've seen love this movie over three hundred. We have this is this is right up there, bumping the ceiling up against Header for me. This is that good of a film to me. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what the next Marathi film should be that we should review down below. <laughs>